September 2013 marked the opening of an internationally groundbreaking engineering education partnership at Charlottesville City Schools' Buford Middle School. Even before the laboratory school's opening, China Center represented from their National Center for Educational Technology to spend a year in Charlottesville monitoring the project's development. And a film crew from Japan came to document the effort as well. Why all the international attention? The project taps cutting-edge technology such as 3D printing and combines it with the expertise of University of Virginia professors with an eye to teaching science through the lens of engineering and advanced manufacturing. So we're already touting it as a model, not only for some of the other school divisions and other college partnerships, but actually expect it to be a model that can be seen nationally and actually internationally. Buford Middle School is the first public school in the Commonwealth Engineering Design Academies. A laboratory school partnership with the University of Virginia's School of Engineering and Applied Science and UVA's Curry School of Education. The project will connect University of Virginia professors with the Charlottesville area public school teachers and students. The Buford Engineering Design Academy, to be followed by similar high-tech labs at Charlottesville High School and in Albemarle County, will be linked via video to the partner lab at the University of Virginia, enabling UVA professors and students to offer lessons and develop innovations for the participating laboratory schools. This network of labs, professors, teachers, and students will form the Commonwealth Engineering Design Academies. Other organizations are also teaming up. The National Science Teachers Association recently featured the project in its newspaper, Reports. Also, the National Science Foundation has created an identical lab and link-up so that it can monitor the program's development. Uh, on behalf of the National Science Foundation, we congratulate all of you who've been involved in this phenomenal set of projects, really, this set of interconnected efforts that are going to lead to wonderful opportunities for a number of folks, for young, young middle school <coughs> students, for high school students, for high school teachers, for undergraduates, and for the faculty who are trying to learn and better understand how to improve teaching and learning in engineering and particularly in advanced manufacturing. NSF has the slogan, Where Discoveries Begin, and I'm very excited to see these facilities tonight and to get a sense of what it will look like as these young middle grade kids have the opportunity to build their own discoveries. Advanced manufacturing technologies have the potential to revolutionize the way everything is made. Technologies such as 3D printing are an important element of global competitiveness. President Obama has challenged educators to redesign schools to prepare students for high-tech jobs, and in 2013, Virginia launched the Commonwealth Center for Advanced Manufacturing to attract such jobs to the state. This is really important for our youngsters who have to grow up and potentially compete in an increasing complex global economy. I serve on the Advanced Manufacturing Commission appointed by the General Assembly. Let me tell you what I've learned is manufacturing isn't like it used to be when we were growing up. It's all about this kind of initiative, this kind of innovation. And if we can give our students the opportunity to learn hands-on, it's going to help them get good jobs in the future. It's going to help our country. Commonwealth Engineering Design Academy's unique university and public school partnership responds directly to the challenges of global competitiveness. Not only are these academies preparing students for a global market, but they are opening up a new world of possibilities.